Now, why on earth would you want to create browser links in your Steam library? There's one reason and one reason only. Web apps. A ton of web apps. You got a Stadia account, Amazon Luna account, Xbox Game Pass account, Nvidia GeForce Now account. This little method here will allow you to add these services directly to your Steam Deck. Of course, with relative ease. Now, why on earth would you want to run browser apps on your Steam Deck? If I had to imagine, probably the biggest use case for this would be to play games on the cloud. You know, NVIDIA GeForce Now, Stadia, Xbox Game Pass. But there is another use for this as well. How about listening to Spotify while you play video games? How about having YouTube up while you look up a guide on how to play a certain game that you may not be good at? The possibilities are endless. So without further ado, let's begin then. Unfortunately, you cannot use Firefox with this. I know it comes pre-installed in your Steam Deck, but you need a Chromium-based browser. For the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to be using Google Chrome, because that's probably the most common browser people use these days. If you haven't already installed Google Chrome on your Steam Deck, you'll want to head over to the Discover App Store and install Google Chrome. We're just going to stick with the stable release. The next step is very important. You'll need to add this directory to your file system overrides. You can do this via flat seal, or you can do it via command line. You can find flat seal on the Discover App Store as well. If you don't want to download yet another program, you can just use this command right here. When you press enter, it won't seem like it did anything, but you'll have to trust me, it definitely did something. Without adding this directory, Google Chrome cannot recognize controller inputs, so this step is an absolute necessity. Now here's the fun part. You'll want to add Google Chrome as a non-Steam game. Put a check mark beside Google Chrome and press add selected program. Find your Google Chrome shortcut that you created right there. Right click it and press properties. And this part is very important. Paste this line into launch options. Of course, you'll want to replace that insert URL here thing with whatever URL you want. So for example, if you wanted to add Google Stadia, this is what you would add. Maybe you're more of a GeForce Now kind of person. Well. This is what you would add instead. You can basically do this with whatever website you want. Just uh, change the name of the shortcut while you're at it too. You'll need to repeat this process for every internet shortcut you plan on making. So as you can see here, I'm actually just going to create a Google Stadia shortcut. And technically, you're done. But I don't like how bland this icon looks. Thankfully, there's a solution to that. Steam Grid DB. I'll need to do a video later on customizing your shortcuts. But basically, you just download a bunch of assets and add them and customize them as such. To totally pimp out your Steam shortcut, you'll need to download five different assets. Vertical box art, horizontal box art, background, logo, and icon. Also, stupidly enough, the option to set horizontal box art is limited to Steam Big Picture mode. It's not even an option in desktop Steam, and I have no idea why. And now I get to show you the fruits of my labor. A fully working Stadia shortcut on my Steam Deck with full controller support as well. You might be asking why I'm paying for Stadia. Well, the truth is I'm not paying for Stadia. I have a friend that's paying for Stadia. But if you want to test out a game on Stadia for free, you can just try out Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is free to play. It's a good way to test if Google Stadia is suitable for you. So enough of this, let's try out a game. Despite the fact that I own some of the Shantae games, I've actually never touched them in my Steam library. And who knows, maybe I will. It's pretty fun. I'm not sure why I picked this game over any other game on Stadia, but I did. Time to download and install my Steam copy. Google Stadia's menu or friends list or whatever is activated via shift and tab at the same time. Assign a button to shift and then you'll want to add a sub command to that same button. And now that button presses shift and tab at the same time. You can access your friends list and stuff if you really want to. The main problem is, of course, the main issue, of course, is latency. I have really good internet, so the latency just isn't that bad for me. I totally get it. If you don't have great internet, then Google Stadia is just not the way to play this game. Also, like, you're missing out on mods. You know what is noteworthy, though? You can enable Gyra for Stadia games. Now let's try a different service. This is GeForce Now. When it comes to cloud gaming, I think GeForce Now is ahead of the curve. And given a stable connection and, you know, good internet, 
I think it beats at all of the others. Of course, we're not counting in-home streaming. GeForce Now is actually totally free to try. All it requires is that you own these games on Steam itself, or on Epic Games if you have an Epic account. And honestly, this might be the best way to play some of those elusive anti-cheat games. Games like Destiny 2, or Fortnite, which don't have Steam Deck support, and Valorant, which may never get Steam Deck support. Obviously, the main caveat with the free version is that there's a queue. You're also limited to an hour per session before you have to get back in line. In theory, this means you can play an hour at a time, and you're not limited by how often you can play. You can play basically whenever you want. You'll have to forgive me for my terrible gameplay. I haven't played Destiny on a controller since Destiny 1. And like, I gotta relearn how to aim with a controller and all that stuff. But that's besides the point. The point is that it works decently well. Occasionally, there's unavoidable lag spikes due to the fact that I'm on Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet. But that's kind of to be expected on a Steam Deck. So what did we learn today? Well, there's a legitimate use for this kind of stuff, really. Well, for starters, you're not limited to a streaming service. You can set shortcuts for basically whatever website you want. Of course, given that this is a gaming-focused handheld, I figure most will want to be able to use Stadia, or GeForce Now, or Amazon Luna, or basically whatever. That said, earlier I created a video about this topic right here, and what websites you could feasibly add to your Steam Deck. Useful shortcuts, or you know, shortcuts to other games like, I don't know, Friday Night Funkin' or whatever, I don't know. Here's the real kicker too though, you can actually multitask from a Steam Deck. Do you like jamming out to some lo-fi while you play some video games? You can live out that fantasy right here, right now. That's right, create a Spotify shortcut and you can have it running in the background playing music as you play some video games. Or use whatever music service you want, it's up to you. This here is Vampire Survivors by the way. It's only like $3. So if you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, join my Discord server, and also enable notifications.